Hello everybody, this is uh, JD79. Um, yeah, I haven't made a, quite a, made a video in a while. Um, it's been a really <laughs> busy, hectic summer here, and uh, having they had trouble with uh, the dining over the dining over here. So I crave a little uh, burrito here and or whatnot here. It's a lifelong weight struggle. And a lot of stuff has been, uh, been going on. I've been watching the E3. Uh, I'm taking a look at the post over here. Um, uh, first of all, we're gonna first of all, I'm gonna be talking about the uh, what's latest about the um, Sony's um, <coughs> PSN hack here. Um, all I have to say to that is that um, yeah, there's been a couple of arrests here. Uh, a message to the hackers, first of all, is that. Yeah, hack the system uh, if you want to just tinker around with your system uh, for, for, for as long as you don't um, go on, uh, online here. But if you hack, if you go online, hack into some of the people's, um, hack into their servers to steal people's uh, passwords and stuff like that. No, I don't think that's right. I don't think it's evil and I don't think that um, it's like that. that. <coughs> but on the other hand, I think that Sony really needs to start, you know, Taking some avenues and let them explore the system here, and um, that's what I have to think about this here. Um, that's and uh, that's what I have to say about you know the acting situation. Um, that's what I have to say. Um, secondly, um, <coughs> my secondly, um, I just got the I just purchased another um, new um, classic console system here. Um, Yep, it's a Commodore 64. A lot of story about this uh, system. It's a very successful um, system. I had one of those before. Um, <clears throat> it's one of the systems I had, uh, like the predate the night days of the Ape at Ness. I probably still enjoy this thing even after I get the Ape at Ness here. And yeah, here's the thing. This um, this Commodore 64 came out in 1982. And um, and it was still in production for 12 long years before Commodore um, went out of business, and that's why they didn't. Um, they still made this thing. They still made this uh, computer before they went out of business. Um, and it, and what's really been successful about the system? It's a 595 dollar price tag um, that had superior graphics compared to the Apple's. Um, System that costs nine hundred ninety nine dollars for the Apple II. Um, I think the Apple II enhanced it probably a little more than that. I probably heard about this here. Um, the Atari eight hundred and um, they also had and they also were competing against the Texas Instruments here. No, excuse me. Um, <coughs> certainly killed the TI ninety nine four A, and also it killed and and also um, it killed the. Um, TRS-80 Radio Shack, um, and I think the Big 20 itself, which is the predecessor to this one, which um, lasted for a couple of years um, at that time before the 64 came out, and had a very good competition itself with the TRS-80 and uh, the TI-994A um, before this one. But this is a um, this lasted for 12 years before, um, and it 12 years, and people are still enjoying this. Um, machine um, even even long after the ape at nest came out and which was a really um, successful system um, I had a lot of great games um, it wasn't I mean no systems perfect it also has had bad games um, the great games I've known was below the root and since they're and since they're coming up with a new one uh, they're, they're shipping new ones out as we speak right now. Um, I might get that later on. I like I like to see some six Commodore 64 um, favorites remade for the new ones, and um, <coughs> and you know that's that. Um, remake the new ones. Definitely remake, remake below the root, and uh, the new Commodore 64. I might be. Um, it's going to come with a Blu-ray, the, the newer higher-end Blu-ray drive, and it's going to come with, um, with USBs. And, um, yeah, I tell you, um, gaming has been changed um, <coughs> in, quite a, in quite a bit of a time. Um, 
But we still love, but I still have my hearts in this one. It's a very low, it's a very heart love computer. Um, and, it, and the keys do really feel um, pretty good as well. It has this really, um, it really has a, a tint of keys and it really does, um, you, you press it down and it has a little bit of a sturdy feel towards um, the keys as well and it contours of your fingers making them really feel good and they're really, yeah, they're really good to type on there as well. Um, my brother used, um, my brother used a Commodore 64 for his book report. <laughs> Yeah, these good old days. My brother used some um, 50 spelling mistakes. Blah. Oh, that's the dark side of the other brother. And of course, I use um, <clears throat> my PC for my uh, papers. Uh, my old Packer Bell 486 for my PCs. But hey, this is a um, this is one this is one monstrosity of the machine. Um, Good machines. People have a nostalgia look for it, and I'm gonna give this a test to see if this thing would work. And if there, and uh, I might buy these games. And about this here, but yeah, um, it's very, it's really still to have good to have this um uh, collection over here, the new Commodore 64. I hope um. We have motion controls right now, and hope and uh, because the new Commodore 64 is going to have USBs, and maybe um, we can get into good back to the good old compatibility days and hook my PlayStation Move up with the new Commodore 64 one day. But yeah, next year is the 30th anniversary since this lovable machine came out, and uh, below the root, yeah. That's my top all time best Commodore 64 games. Although it was released on um, other systems, but um, but the Commodore 64 version was the best version out there. It had the nice graphics and sound here. Now, a quick run up on the E3. I did work about it. Microsoft's E3. I feel I feel it's, it's like the same show as uh, last year. Um, Halo, Fable, um, yeah. Halo, um, they showed off Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, which I don't give a stuff about anymore. Um, I mean, Activision, your, I mean, your market is too much saturated. I mean, I want Pitfall. I want, bring back the good old classics ones here. Like the classic action, um, action, um, <laughs> Activision's, um, like you've made a gold Atari 2600, revisit these games. Um, I don't care if you ever make, make Call of Duty for the Commodore 64 anymore, because, I mean, goodness sakes, um, put Call of Duty to rest, release Pitfall, like, Harry liked to have a chance, and, um, I think right now, and, uh, yeah, you know, put your system back to its roots and revisit the games, um, Remake the Tor remake some Atari 2600 games for goodness sakes. Like revisit those IPs, and uh, maybe um, maybe it could be better off here, like this here. We'll go back to Microsoft anyway. They shown uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. They shown um, Tomb Raider, which is sort of okay. <laughs> sort sort of you know um, visiting that back to the past up here, but. <laughs> And they show this, the same old games, uninspiring games like this. And then they show Connect here. Um, Fable uh, with Connect, but I mean, um, like this. And then they show, and, and yeah, you show it's Connect all over again. Bing! Connect! Bing! Harry Potter! <sighs> oh, come on. I can, I mean, um, I can do this. Just uh, I could, I'm I'm fine with, I'm fine with you know with a PC, I'm using it with my PC and uh, like going to ping or even uh, Google that on the PC. I mean uh, come on man, uh, crack Bing like this and then they showed um this oh connect Disneyland and connect Sesame Street, uh, and then they showed the Star Wars and then um. They show that racing game in any way over here. I mean, um, that's 
Yeah, I feel I I feel I think it's probably the same old show again, and um, I don't know about Microsoft. I mean, hopefully next year's E3 they'll show something. Um, they hopefully they'll break apart from the this pitfall that Microsoft is in here, and they will actually show an a unique Connect pitfall game. I mean, I'll be okay with that, man. I mean, I really do need another pitfall game. After um. When was the last new Pitfall game that was coming out? Um, the Lost Expedition, uh, which came out, oh, say, seven, eight, ten years ago. I mean, yeah, we need another Pitfall game. I mean, that's why I have to stay in my stay in gaming over here. It's nice that, you know, we're getting a new Commodore 64 um, uh, system over here. I might use this as the same way as I use this one and to relieve my relive my childhood memories like this here but yeah that's Microsoft um, Nintendo um, second year it was in second place over here but at first um, I was gonna be saying that what the freak we're thinking of the Wii U <laughs> the Wii U at the second screen um, system over here um, yeah I'm a little leery about that system um, at first uh, but then afterwards, um, they have, um, some new Ninja Gaiden, and even through third parties, third, um, third parties actually have, um, experiencing some interest in this thing here. Um, they show that on IGN, um, they show that on IGN that third parties are somewhat interested in here, and are thinking, yeah, yeah, um, but let's hope it's the case, I'll probably, uh, Look more into that. Maybe I'll buy the Wii U. Um, but yeah, I'm a little leery about this. But maybe that might, maybe that Nintendo may have something um, up in the sleeves. Um, what we're not thinking about this here, but a lot of other people are thinking, "Oh, are there, where does Nintendo thinking? What they're using, they're using the Wii U? Um, otherwise, they showed Luigi's Mansion 2, which is a um, Something that they're um, doing over here, but yeah, again, it's in a Mario game or Luigi and Luigi. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, other game, uh, other game, and um, they showed off some Super Mario Brothers 3DS. Um, I'm going to come in that, in that game here. Um, I don't think it's, a, but I, I, I really do like the uh, the intro where they have this orchestra playing Zelda um, thing over here. Um, that shows an appreciation of Zelda over here, Zelda. Uh, but yeah, hopefully um, they can pull off another nape at Ness, um, and we might see even see a sim sim uh, <laughs> something similar to what we're having in 1980s. Uh, the 80s are back again with the new com the new Nintendo Wii U, um, along with the new Commodore 64. <sighs> Nostalgia 1980s with a 21st century flair. Um, that's when it coming in. But the first thing I have to talk about is Sony's press conference here. Um, the Vita. <laughs> they showed off a couple PlayStation Move games, but I'm really impressed with the Vita because, um, especially when they showed off um, Little Big Planet um, and Mod Nation Racers, where you can actually create levels by touching the screen. And um, they're promising the new. Um, technological capabilities of a uh, technological um, things that you can use to create your own little big planet levels here and yeah uh, read that thing um, and as well as uh, the and as well as how they made the levels in mod, uh, on um, mod nation racers for the um, Vita and uh, but yeah um, that's really cool about this little big. It's really uh, cool, cool things about this. Um, yeah, I'm um, really um, this strikes me about the uh, PlayStation uh, Vita here, and um, they showed off <coughs> new Move titles here. Um, I th I find the uh, PlayStation Move uh, Medieval Moves. It's a very good. Uh, yeah. Um, that's just pretty uh, quite interesting. They actually, like, you know, sort of uh, 
use the stuff from uh, Move Sports Champions, and you actually use those all at once, and they combine those things all at once to make your own adventure game here. Um, yeah, I think the Sony probably may be the winner of this year's um, E3. Uh, Nintendo's pretty close second here, and uh, but Microsoft, yeah, I don't know about Microsoft anymore. Microsoft C3 anymore. They show the same old thing over here, but yeah, it's like last year. I mean, this year I'm giving credit to Nintendo and Sony. Um, this year, is, um, and that's my remarks on E3 this year. My Commodore 64. I used to the my um, old Commodore 64. Not exactly new. I got this off eBay. Um, just bought this from eBay. Um, I have fond memories of this um, computer. I just had to get a disk drive and a few games for it. Um, hopefully, I'll hook it up to my um, my new game room, my uh, family room here. And um, other thing over here is that yeah, these bugs are terrible today. Got a tick bite. It's getting better right now. A little tick bite over here. I've been taking amoxicillin for the past um, 10 days. Put on that bug spray, people. These bugs are terrible this year. And um, we've been having quite a bit of um, interesting weather on uh, like, um, April or May or like this. Um, but <laughs> this is what I have to say. Um, welcome back, old friend. And um, I think the, I'll hopefully the new Commodore 64 will be um, bringing back the memories like this one here. Um, this is what I have to say. Uh, JD out. And maybe um, the new Commodore 64 um, using motion control, and hopefully they'll <laughs> allow us for compatibility. Um, and, and you can actually hook a Genesis controller up with this as well. But yeah, hopefully, um, this new comp, hopefully they'll, um, allow back, allow, um, compatibility to the new one as, as well. <laughs> and this is me, JD out. And I guess they were right when they, um, they, I guess they, when they were right when they, um, Commodore showed these, uh, things, it says, the Commodore 64 is an industry's most outstanding performance. The industry didn't know that. Certainly, um, <laughs> certainly the industry didn't even know that, that this thing lasted for 12 years, and, um, it's still in people's hearts today. Na, 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 na. Commodore.